Okay, today we will be doing Pythagorean theorem for real world problems. So basically we'll have a word problem and we'll have to draw the picture and find the missing side. Uh, same concept, but uh, except they won't give us the picture. We'll have to draw the picture. Let's take a look at one of these. It says the width, the width of a rectangle is 4 feet and the diagonal length of the rectangle is 13 feet. Which measurement is closest to the length of this rectangle? So. A key word here is diagonal. Diagonal is simply a slanted line that cuts across uh, a four-sided figure. So it could be a rectangle, it could be a square. The key to it is the diagonal cuts across. So in this example, we have a width of four feet. Okay. And the diagonal length is 13 feet. And it says which measurement is closest to the length. So we have to find that length. Okay, and we can use the Pythagorean theorem to do so. I'm just going to redraw this picture one more time and make it a right triangle so you guys can see how it's applicable to the Pythagorean theorem. So that is 13. This is 4. And this is our missing side. Okay, here's our right angle. Draw an arrow across to find C. So they gave us C. We'll make this one A, and we're missing B. Now we're going to write, erase this picture. Now we're going to write our formula A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Well, we got 4 for A, we do not have B, and we have 13 for C. Now that I have my equation, I'm going to come to my calculator. I'm going to press my Y equal. Clear out the previous problem. Okay. We're going to do move this out of our way. We're going to do 4 squared. Okay, plus, remember, we don't have a B, so this is what the calculator side for, this X. So we do 4 squared plus X squared. We're going to go down, and we have 13 squared on the other side of the equal sign. Once we get it typed in, second, trace, and the number 5. Excuse me, I chose 2. So I'm going to let it draw, and I'm going to have to press second trace again, trace, second trace five again. Okay, second, once we get it typed in, second trace, the number five. Press enter, 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 and it gives us our answer of 12.36. So B equals 12.36. Do we have any questions? No questions? Okay, let's continue. Okay, here's the next example. It says the length of the rectangular frame is 15 inches. And the width of the frame is 8 inches. What is the length of the diagonal? Once again, we have that word diagonal. Remember, a diagonal simply cuts across that rectangle like that. So, let's draw it and write in the numbers. The length of 15, we have a width of 8. And they want, we want to find the diagonal this time. Okay? So, I'm simply going to redraw this as a triangle so we can see here. As a right triangle so we have 8 for the width 15 and that's the one that we don't have there's our right angle so this time we are finding C okay write in my formula a squared plus B squared equals C squared and remember A and B are interchangeable so it don't matter which one you make A or B C is the important one so here we have 8 squared plus 15 squared equals C squared. And we're going to 
solve that equation. I'll come back to my calculator here. Clear out the previous question. Okay, here we're going to have 8 squared plus 13 squared. And down here, we're going to go down and we're going to put our x squared. And we have second, trace, 5. Give it a chance to calculate. Enter, enter, enter. And we have 15.26. C equals 15.26. Okay, so here it is. We just have to draw the pictures and we use the Pythagorean theorem as we normally do. Have a good day at the end of the lesson.